We just had, we had actually had our second lead call, which is like really awesome. Um, and we were breaking it up. We didn't do one script. Sorry, I'm getting blown up via text. I'm going to turn that off. Um, and we're going to, it's a deal in Tyler, Texas. Um, it's a three bed, three bath house. She owns it free and clear. She really wants to get out of it, but there's a, and maybe it's, we've done a little too much research, but basically she's been trying to sell it for the past like five years. Wow. So there's something clearly like something's going on. I didn't ask her flat out. We have a call with her at 1245 today, mountain time or uh, central time. Um, but I'm not sure, like even just from a comparable, you know, standpoint, I looked on um, prop stream and it said 147. She said it got appraised like three years ago or five years ago for 187,000. And like, everything's like all over the board. I'm happy to share my screen and show you. Um, well, what do you, what do you think the ARV is? I mean, Probably, so she had it listed for a real, like with a realtor right now, it's like 139 or she had it like 139. I got, I asked her like, what's the best that you could do before we kind of went through the owner financing script, which we're going to do at 1245. And she yeah. said 130. Um, and she'll and take, she'll, she'll sell or finance it. Yeah. Looks, that looks okay. Based okay. on the square footage and. What I know is the home market. So, um, yeah, get it, get it that way. And then if you get it, depending on how long you can get the financing for, she's going to create a new mortgage that you'll, uh, uh, you'll take on and uh, she'll carry that back. And the longer you get, the more opportunities there are for other ways to exit out of that. You okay. could sell or finance out of it. You could lease option out of it. You could do a whole bunch of things. Okay. Okay. In this but not to be worried that like she's been trying to sell this for like five years and nothing. She's got something else going on. Uh, more than likely, somebody died in the house. All right. Uh, you know, depending <laughs> on the area, you, you know, there's lots of disclosures. I'm not sure if Texas has that disclosure or not, but uh, a lot of people will not live in a house where somebody died, especially a violent death. Yeah. So I don't know if that's the case or not. She could have just been unrealistically high. Um, she could have idiotic realtors representing her. There could be lots of different reasons. Okay. You know, it looks like a decent deal. You get 130K with some seller financing, even if it's got a five or seven year balloon, you guys are golden. You should go okay. make some All right, cool. Awesome, Thank you. awesome. Thank but, you. Yeah. Never, never hesitate to ask. You said you didn't ask why. Yeah, I didn't. Hasn't sold. Just ask her why hasn't it sold. Yeah. Yeah, we will. I'll ask her that. I plan to do that. <laughs> One of the the phrases that I've used for years is after they get done telling you about the house, you say something like this. You know, it sounds like such a wonderful house. Why in the world would you ever want to sell it? Or it sounds like such a wonderful house. Why hasn't it sold? Yeah. Yeah. And that goes back the other direction and you've, you know, you've complimented them. So they're more likely to answer, respond okay. to that.